Telford in their white shirts, black shorts and black socks. Stockport County in their traditional blue and white strip. Chris Blackburn comes in to play against his former team. Chris Blackburn, the Telford centre-back who's been struggling to overcome a back injury. I still don't think he's 100% fit and uh, I think it was a toss-up, Steve, between him and Michael Briscoe to come in. Briscoe, well, the story about him is he had a broken nose in training during pre-season and uh, we will be underway now. And it's Leslie who switches it to his right-hand side straight out of play. Disappointing start for Telford. Spray kicked off the ball, but Rooney now chips it out to the left edge of a penalty area. Trainer switches it to Valentine. Valentine crosses the ball. Sent to me's header! Oh, it should have been a goal. Kieran sent to me, scored from a very similar position on Saturday. He's headed it over. That was a lovely ball by Valentine, who just stretched out the Stockport defenders. Trainer now, he's found some room surging forward into the Stockport half. Here's Hubbins on the right wing. It cuts inside to the channel this time. A few crossovers. Hubbins to the byline. Pulls it back. Trainer gets it stuck under his feet and he can't regain his balance. It was sent to me, actually, on the edge of a six-yard box. Superb ball by Luke Hubbins. Again, he is a player of very high quality. Stockport go for a a long ball into the Telford area. Jordan Rose against Rowe. In comes a cross. Dangerous fist for Telford. A shot comes in and they scored. Stockport have taken the lead against Telford. And it's a snap shot from Danny Whitehead. The man from Stratford who gets over it really well. Fell nicely for him on the half volley. And I would say slightly against the run of play in the last 15 or 20 minutes. Stockport, the Hatters, have taken the lead here against Telford. Good mix of, of youth as well with Luke Hubbins uh, playing on the right. Here he is now on the right wing, midway inside the Stockport half. That four crossovers cuts into the right-hand channel to Leslie, who helps him out. Plays it 1-2, he's got Salmon hugging that right touch line if he needs him. He's got it through to Leslie. Leslie in the box, finds Trader! Oh, it's a good goal! It's set to me! Five yards out! Centerway gets the final touch. Telford back on turns here at the Bucks head. Suntome has now scored three goals in the last three games. He is a force to be reckoned with. And so are Telford. And it's just what they deserve. Telford are oozing quality in this team. A good ball by Leslie down the left now. Suntome chasing it down. He's lacking a bit of support. Jones is behind him. Suntome will do best to find Jones, who takes on the roll to the byline. Brought down. He's in a penalty. The referee looks at it, it's a goal kick certainly the defender made contact with Steve Jones now the only thing I can say is that Jones does not go running up to the referee screaming for a penalty Hattersley linking up with Kenyon, now White has popped up into space, Ryan drops it oh no it's a goal, it's 2-1 oh it's a howler from Ryan Young the ball spanned through his hands. The defenders were running to get themselves into an attacking position. And now Whitehead's got his second. Well, the big thing here for Telford for me now, Nick, is not to let their heads go down. It's so important that they don't let the shock of conceding that uh, that terrible calamitous second goal get them down. They've got to carry on doing the same thing. Leslie things. gets across in. Drilled! Great header! Oh, Valentine! Bullet header! It's perfect cross from that Leslie. He drilled it, didn't he, Steve? Valentine, who's not the tallest player on the pitch by any stretch of the imagination, with a bullet header into the top left-hand corner. Telford strike back. Telford two, stop port two. Here's Valentine lifting it forward. Nolan gets it back in possession for stop port in the centre circle. Nolan passes it square to Newton. The former Telford man fires it down the line. There we go, full time. What a game we have seen here at the new Bucks head. It has finished two all. It could easily have been a win for Telford or even a win for Stockport at times. It's been a great advert for conference football, but it has finished two all.